Katana is a powerful note-taking app where you can build just about anything and organize any kind of information, but I guarantee you're overthinking it and it's holding you back from building a really powerful knowledge system for yourself. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos to help you build your personal knowledge systems so you can turn your personal knowledge into powerful ideas. Now, Tana is hands down the best tool for thought, note-taking, knowledge management tool that I have ever found. It's a powerful tool that comes with very advanced features, but at its core, it's also really simple, like as simple as an outliner and a tag system. And getting started is actually way easier than you are probably making it. So in today's video, I wanna show you how to get started with Tana on easy mode, the only three steps you need to take advantage of Tana's powerful capabilities, and how to keep building on your system over time without overcomplicating it too much. So let's get started. So as I said, Tana at its core is an outliner and a tagging system. And if you understand those two concepts, you'll understand 90% of how Tana works and you'll be able to build a really powerful system to capture and organize all of your knowledge and information. So to get started, you really only need to do three things. One, capture your information. Two, categorize it. And then three, make collections to find those things again. Step one is really easy. It's all about capturing everything that's in your head and putting it into Tana. And Tana makes that so easy by directing you to your day page every time you log in. So the daily page really eliminates all the questions you have around where you should take notes. Whenever you think of an idea or a task or just a random thought, you can just dump it in your daily page. It's really that simple. But if you've never used an outliner before, or you've come from a more traditional app where you open a note and start typing, then using an outliner might feel really foreign. And you might be wondering like, how the heck do I even take notes with an outliner? So here's how I think of it. If you're here in your day page and you've got an idea, okay, let's say that you've got an idea for a project that you want to start. You want to think about this top node as your note name. So if you were to open a note in a traditional app um, and then start typing, you would have a name and then you have the content. So think of it like the same. So if we have a, an idea for a project, so let's say it's a new project, okay? Um, then there's two ways you can start adding content to this particular note, okay? Now you can easily come and if you hover over the node, um, this little uh, expand button comes up so you can open it and that's where you can start to then type um, other things in. So you might type some, um, uh, some tasks, okay? So task one, task two, task three. You might have some, you know, who's involved in the project. Now this is my preferred way of taking notes. I like to uh, stay on the day page. It helps keep me in flow. Um, but if you want to feel like I want to focus in on this note, then all you have to do to do that is come up to this, the name of your note that we, we put, and you can click on this note here, and that's going to zoom you in to everything in this particular node. And now this feels like a real note. Okay. So we can start to say, okay, you know, Bill is involved and Jane, and we might have, you know, some more notes on the project and all of that kind of thing. And so then if you were to go back, you have all of your notes contained with this, within this one node. And if we collapse that up, your new note is there. Now you might want to get other things out of your head, like maybe you have to buy a birthday present for somebody's birthday next week. So um, birthday present ideas for Jane. Okay, now you can again expand. Okay, so you can come over here um, and expand that. You can also use a command key. So command down or control down if you're on Windows will open that up and you can start to add in different ideas. She might like perfume. She might like um, a spa day, you know, or anything that you, could, you want to add about that. Again, you can also click to zoom in and, and write within that note and then click the back button to get back to your day page. And that's really all you have to do to start getting things out of your head and into Tana. Think of an idea, write a note name, zoom in, put the details down, and that's it. And here's why this is so powerful. You don't need to set up folders. You don't need to do any kind of configuration or organization to get started. All you have to do is start taking notes and getting things out of your head. The knowledge comes first 
and then you can add the structure and the organization later and that gives you an unbelievable amount of flow in your work. So now you have a whole lot of notes on your day page from ideas to tasks you need to do and everything in between. We do want to bring some structure so we can find everything again. And that brings us to step number two is we now want to tell Tana what your note is. And this is where Tana super tags come into play. And very basically, they're just a way to categorize and find your notes later. But before you get to getting into all of that overthinking mode and overcomplicating with tag structures and ontologies and schemas and all of that, the easiest way to start using super tags is simply just to ask yourself, what kind of thing is this? Maybe it's an idea, a task, a project, a recipe you wanna try, a book you wanna read, a bill you need to pay. Once you know the answer to that question, all you have to do is simply add the tag to categorize it. So uh, a project is obviously a project. So we're going to just go hashtag project. Okay. Now, if you already have a project tag, that's going to come up. If you don't, it's going to ask you to create one. So I already have a project tag, so I'm going to add that in. All right. So for this next one, what kind of thing is this? Birthday present ideas. Let's call this gift ideas. So hashtag gift ideas. Now, I don't have this super tag already, so Tana's saying, do you want to create and apply it? And we're going to say yes, just by clicking on it. This one here, reminder to pick up milk on the way home. Uh, maybe that's a reminder or a task. Okay, so let's just call this reminder. Okay, create that one. Uh, this is an article that I want to read later inside there. There's a link to it, so let's tag that as article. Now that one exists. So we're going to add that article in, um, a recipe that I've saved that I want to put in here. So let's say recipe already have that one. And then now there's another new project. So we're going to add that project in and that's as easy as it is. All you have to do is ask yourself, what kind of thing is this? And then tag it. And once you add the tag, it's like putting an air tag on that node. So you'll always be able to find it again, no matter where it originally lives in Tana. There are, of course, lots of other things that super tags can do, including adding fields, commands, using AI, and there'll be time to learn all of that later. For now, all you want to do is focus on getting things out of your head and categorizing them with a super tag. And now you've got notes and you've categorized those notes, you can sleep soundly, knowing you'll be able to find everything again when you need it. But once you start to get a few super tags going, this is where you want to start to add your structure. So you don't have to go hunting for your super tag pages all the time. For structure in Tana, I use a concept that I call collections. So you can think of these as kind of hubs that live in your sidebar or your home where we can collect super tags together into. So the easiest way to do this is to come up to your home node. Once you're in your home node, then what we want to do is we want to create a search that finds all of the tags that we have added. So what we're going to do is you're just going to type question mark and that then we can click this button to create a search node. All you want to do in this search node is write is tag. And what that's going to do is find everything that is a tag. Okay. So if I click into uh, projects, for instance, I'm going to find all of the projects that we have entered. Um, if I type, if I click on goals, same thing here. Okay. So this gives us all of the tags. Now you're not going to have as many tags <laughs> as I do. Um, but what we want to do is we want to then kind of start to categorize them and, and bring them together into our hubs. So easiest way to do that is click up where it says unnamed search node, top command K, and we're going to convert this to a plain node. Okay, so now the search is removed. We have all of our super tags and we want to start to look through this list and start to kind of bring certain things together. So if I have a look here, I've got, uh, you can see kind of at the very top, resources, projects, areas, goals, projects, tasks, kind of down here. So all those kind of make up work. So you're going to come to your top node. Okay. So you'll see your workspace name and anywhere in here, we're going to type work. Okay. You're going to open that up. Okay. So you can either click to open, um, or you can use command K, uh, command down, um, to open it up. And we want to drag kind of anything work related in here. Okay. So work, uh, resources, areas, goals, projects, and tasks. 
Okay, so all those things are work related. And now we have those things in a hub where we can access them easily in our sidebar. So let's do another hub. Let's have a look, kind of keep looking down the list. So we've got things like person, client, lead. So those things kind of end up being part of a CRM. So we might have another one that's called CRM. Okay, and then we're going to put those things in here. So deal, uh, person, lead, client, uh, service, meeting, okay? And all you, all you want to do is keep working through your list until you've kind of bought a whole lot of things together into these hubs. And when I open up the sidebar, you can see here my playground, because that's the workspace I'm in, is that I've got my work hub and my CRM hub. If I open each of those up, you can see I've got my different super tag. And if I click on any one of those, I get to the super tag page and I can see all of those things. And so it's a really handy way to be able to categorize everything that you've started to enter into Tana and find it easily within your sidebar. Now, if you want to learn more about the super tag page and how to organize it, so you can find everything you need within easy reach, then you might want to watch my other video on how to organize your super tag page. And I'm going to link that video up here somewhere. And leaving structure to the end of this process means you never build anything unnecessarily. You already have things you've collected and now you just need to make sense of it. You need to find the patterns and to organize it so that everything makes sense. So I hope I've convinced you that you don't need to overthink or overcomplicate getting started in Tana. It really can be as simple as visiting your day page, adding notes, categorizing them, and then finding them later. Once you work this process for a little bit of time, then you can start to explore the more advanced features as you need them. Now, if you do want to explore more Tana resources, then you always can check out my website, evchapman.com, where you can find templates, workshops, and my signature course, Tana Fast Track, to help you get started in Tana fast. And if you like this video, then I think you'll really like this next video I have on five easy tricks to make using Tana more productive. As always, you can like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in your feed, and I'll see you in the next one.